Hello, and this is Brandon, Josh, Scott, and we're creating this video for our geography homework. And really, it's about animal um, dinosaur extinction and some information all about it. Uh, this is Minecraft, and we're just going to be playing it on this. So we're not playing. We're explaining it. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> we're teaching on Minecraft. Yeah, kind, of. kind of teaching, yeah. Scott's right. In a fun way. So today I am in the studio with my friend here, Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> Say hello. 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 That's Bob. Yes, that is Bob. Yeah. And we are actually in. There seems to zombies being annoying, but we are actually in. We come and we came and visited Jurassic Park, and I got an interview with its lead manager here next to me, Bob, and. So he's going to show us around the park and what kind of dinosaurs there are and how he got them back also but most importantly um how they got extinct in the first place. So let's switch to me out in the field with the dinosaurs with not forgetting Bob. Hello, I'm at the gates of this wonderful park now with Bob the professor. He's he's with me here. And um so Let's head in. Let's head into the park with Bob, and let's see how it works. You're going the wrong way. I seem to want to go that way. But um, let's go down here without falling down that hole. They need some renovation there. Yeah. So if we go forwards, Bob, do you want us to tell us a little bit about? Oh, right. Go. Let's go forwards a bit more so we can actually see them. So Bob, do you want to tell us a little bit about these these wonderful creatures? Uh, yes, they can be very harmful, but um, known to be violent as well. Uh, these, unfortunately, cannot fly, and they're, they're, they're her herbivores. Herbivores. Um, they have attractive wings that can... Attractive, yes. Didn't you know that? <laughs> I didn't know they had attractive wings, no. Well, unfortunately, they cannot fly. Oh my god, look to your right! Isn't that amazing? Left. Left. I, I, isn't it amazing? These are only rare once every year. They only hibri hibernate every summer, did you know? Well, yes, as we proce um, progre proceed throughout the park, as we proceed throughout the park, I will show you the wonders of our park. So, if you don't mind. So, um... Let's uh, skip to me being at the enclosure. Actually, no. Let's go and interview some of the pork, what, <laughs> the park employees. <coughs> Hello, I am now here at the employee lounge, and um, I'm here with the one of the staff, one of the park's workers. So we're gonna talk to him about what these dinosaurs actually need and what protection they need from them. Well, hello there. I am Scott, the employee, and yeah, so Josh, what what I do here is like some basic stuff, feeding the dinosaurs and stuff. And what do the dinosaurs need, uh, specifically the uh, more vicious ones, the ones that eat meat, what do they need? They, they usually eat sheep, cows, not much pigs, but... Yeah. Thank you, Scott. And what about the ones that eat trees? Because obviously the trees aren't edible here. So what do you feed them as a a different thing? We feed them um, either wood or sometimes cabbages. Don't know why I said wood, but yeah. And vegetables that we grow ourselves in their back. So yeah. So thank you, Scott, the employee of the lounge. Next, we are going to cut back to Dr. Bob and see what else he has to show us. Thank you, Scott. Hello, I'm back, and I'm at, I'm talking to one of the guards of the dinosaurs. I couldn't find Bob. He, he's wandered off somewhere, so I don't, we'll have find him later. He's probably on the toilet or something. But let's talk to the guard and see what kind of things they have to do to keep the dinosaurs inside of the enclosures. 
Hello, um, as you know, I'm the guard of the whole situation. I try and keep, my job is to keep the, uh, dinosaurs inside. Um, the way we do this, as you can see, we have bricks and chains. The chains we have to change regularly every once a week. Just because any dinosaurs who accidentally walk into it because of their size, um, damage them in a very crucial, crucial way. Um, so... Well, what else is there to really talk about? Well, why do you have a gun? That's something. Uh, yes, we recently went to the meeting, so we we recently went to the meeting that we had to be equipped with certain weaponry, just so if any dinosaurs decide to attack or harm us, we can always be ready. Is this because of the uh, the breakout a few months back where? Um, a T-Rex got loose. Is that why you don't have T-Rexes in the park anymore? Yes, um, actually the meeting was a few days after that. It was, really, because it was in the news and TV. It's just that, because we had to put every single T-Rex down, unfortunately, just because of their habits, and... And we had to also keep supplies, so we had to then ration them down for the other animals. Anything else? No, that's all, thank you. What's your name? My name is Brandon, and I'll be following you around this tour. Thank you, Brandon. Alright, now we'll go find Dr. Dr. Bob, and we'll speak to him, see why these uh, great beasts went extinct. Hello, we managed to find Bob. He actually just came out as soon as we stopped recording. So, we came out, um, and we're going to have a little word with Bob about... So, so Bob, why did these dinosaurs actually go extinct? Many reasons um, caused this problem. Some say it was a meteor, a flash of fire, or sudden um, cataclysmic events. Uh, is there anything else? Well, yes. Um, how come there are still dinosaurs, uh, relatives of dinosaurs still alive today, such as the uh, tortoise, crocodiles, crocodiles sharks, and and more. <laughs> well, um, some of these reasons are they escaped and some actually um, make their own kind even without fertilization. Uh, so they are either a man, a male and <laughs> a woman. And this is what caused them to make more of their species. Thank you, Bob. Um, well, now we are going to go ahead and go back through, uh, actually, no, this will be the end of our little talk around Jurassic Park. I've actually employed as one of the workers, as you can see, they're just giving me some costume. My little visor isn't green yet, which means I'm not in properly, but I've employed to be one, so... Yes, and if you like Bob here again, if you like, I could tell you a nice fact about dinosaurs. Uh, scientists like I am are studying dinosaurs to this very day by studying fossils and rocks, indicating how they lived and what they might have done. Also, we make these. Um, even though dinosaurs are extinct today, we make we have um, specific DNA samples that make them in this 21st century. Okay, thank you. This was, uh, that's the end of our little video for geography. Would you like Thanks. to see one? No, this is our original. Um, my name was again Brandon, <coughs> Josh, and Scott. As you and also Tom helped out with the voices because we needed more. Yes, I'm in uh, Michael's group as well, so shout out there.